if it's not one thing, it's another thing with this van. We got good news and we got bad news. The good news is, I mean, it's driving, <laughs> it's working, we're going somewhere, but the bad news? So the bad news is no boondocking in our future. We're gonna have to be staying at some RV parks for a while. We have some issues with our batteries. They're not holding a charge. Fortunately, the inverter is still working. Everything is just fine there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do we know it's fine? We know it's fine because we can plug in the shore power and it will make 12 volts for everything to run. Okay, that's as much as we know. That's what we know. Also, the alternator charger is working because when the van is running, we also have 12 volt power. As soon okay. as we turn it off, as soon as we unplug, everything dies instantly. It will say 100% state of charge. As soon as you unplug the van, it goes from 100 to zero like that. Our problem is that we have a fridge full of groceries. And so we either have to be driving the van or be plugged in. Otherwise, there is no charge, nothing's going on. and. You know, aside from not being able to use anything else, our biggest concern is the fridge. I did some troubleshooting and I checked all of the fuses. I checked the bus bar. I'll show you guys where all that stuff is located because it was a learning experience for me. Uh, and so anyway, I went through, I checked absolutely everything, did tons of different like scenarios and testing, trying to figure it out. And ultimately I came down to the batteries. They were only showing about five volts when they were unplugged and you know nothing was plugged in, nothing was running. The coached lithium batteries were only showing about five volts once I turned everything off. Hang on. Oh, this is my exit. Oh. Good thing I was paying attention. Sort of. <laughs> but not really. Oh. Long story short, our house batteries sounds like they're kaput, kaput, which is frustrating because like many of you know, we've only had this van for one year. I'd love to know from you, has this happened to you? Is this a common occurrence? Like, do you only get one year out of lithium batteries or is this just something we can chalk up to another thing and our van bites the dust? We have our good friends Candace and Ted with us. If you're new here, they're actually some of our closest friends and they have a teardrop trailer, a tab 360, I believe. And so they are coming with us to, you know, enjoy the great outdoors for the weekend. So there's a little good news for you to go along with the not so good news. probably our two spots right here right by the, the road I hope I think we're way ahead of our friends so we're gonna go check us in and hopefully we're not at those spots by the road hopefully we're closer to the creek fingers crossed we'll let you know one hour later we're in we spoke with Judy I think we got really really good spots you need to buckle up beer I need to buckle up Oh, we're all plugged in, so now we don't have to worry about anything in the fridge and we can just enjoy the weekend. You think? I hope we can enjoy the weekend. <laughs> So, what do you think about the spot? I think this is a great spot. This is really cool where we can be next to each other. We can park our doors so they face each other. And then uh, we'll be able to just enjoy some, some time together. All right, time to set up. <laughs> One of the big reasons why we wanted to come here is because there are so many wineries here. 
Didn't take us long. We found it. We found it. Winery number one, we're here. All right, so these are all local wines from here in Arizona, and I'm excited to give them a try. All right, so I'm not a big fan of wine, but I do like a good Moscato. So Bob got this white one. We'll see how it is. Oh, that is so gross. Hillary, you got to find something you like. What was that? Is that the first one? Yes, it is. It says the palate reveals white peach, ripened apricot, and desirable mouth desirable mouth watering acidity okay i don't like this one. <laughs> okay let's try this one that is a hundred times worse oh my goodness so gross so guys I'm, i just i don't like wine but you know who does like wine it's quite the generous pour. Yeah, he he was generous. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first one I tried. This is the Voyager. <laughs> definitely apricots. I definitely get the apricots. Did you get that? Did you get my text? I don't think it's going to What do you think? It's very, very light. Tastes like a kind of like a not a Chardonnay, but a Sauvignon Blanc all a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sauvignon. This is Red Rock Rose. Okay. Rose it's a all day. Which I hated it. What do you think? I can see why you didn't like it. Thank it's you. Only okay. Guys. Thank you. It's just right up is the it alley. It, it's, it's not made here in Arizona. Oh, it's is it refreshing. made here in Arizona? Now that is some good. It's pretty smooth. Water. <laughs> it has a hint of lime. <laughs> does it? <laughs> it does. It does. I think yeah, that's the uh, phosphate. There's some lime. <laughs> there's lime in it. Chlorine. Oh. Okay, wait. Is this the rock slide? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is Bob's favorite. So I'm gonna try it. So far. Okay. Oh. Uh, what am I tasting? Right in red stone fruit. I think I'm tasting the acidity. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> I don't see what you see in this bottle of wine. We are back from the wineries. It was amazing. We give that winery two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. It was good. It was good. I mean, I didn't like the wine, but you know. <laughs> the, the atmosphere. The ambiance. The ambiance was worth it. Mm -hmm. And now we're about to explore this RV park because apparently it has a really cute little creek here. Back for round two and another tasting. So cute here. So we got another flight. What, what, what is this? Red it, was, it was a red blend, but oh, yeah, it's CDP is what we call it. CDP. Blend of three different. So, Quite good. A little peppery taste. Yeah, kind of a uh, raspberry, peppery, kind of like earthy. Pretty good. Okay, so there was a, what is this called? It's a apple. Sparkling. Arizona sparkling apple. Arizona sparkling apple wine. And they generously poured this for me just to taste it, just in case I didn't like it before ordering it. So. Um, 
I will say it's the best I've had all day. So that's good. That is good. Yeah, it tastes a little bit like apple juice, but it's like it's like a dry apple juice is what I would say. Oh yeah, yeah. Special wine person. Smell it. <laughs> what do you smell? Actually, apples. <laughs> there you go. I feel like that's right. You get a little apple. <laughs> Delicious. It's not bad. It's not bad. Sure. It's, it's very much apple and sparkly. <laughs> he loves it's it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's good. You like it? Drink it's it all. It's definitely sweet. You don't want to finish it? No. <laughs> second winery was a success today. Much better local wines. Good price. I actually really enjoyed the food too. Well, actually, I should say food. We had dessert. <laughs> but the dessert paired well with the wine. Did you guys get TV? Ted, we got TV. What is it? I don't know. We haven't, we haven't looked at it yet. It looks like we got channel three right now. At least we got TV. We don't have service out here, but the TV works. It's like barely cold. Well, I'm a little nervous. Our refrigerator only seems to be slightly cold. I don't know if that has something to do with the battery or not. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the morning brings. <laughs> kind of frustrating. Story but, of our lives. I mean, the light's on. Yeah. I turned. I, I tried turning it to like the highest setting to see what would happen. I turned it to the lowest setting. We'll see what happens. But. I don't know. It's just not cold. I don't know. I don't know why that would be because we've got everything plugged in. Obviously we have lights and all of our 12 volt stuff is working. But for some reason, it's just not that cold. Well, I don't know. We'll just try to keep it closed and see what it looks like tomorrow. Yep. Stay tuned. Good night. <sighs> More van problems. On this episode of the van that's falling apart. <laughs> Story of our lives. They said buy brand new. It'll be better. It'll be better. No. We should have brought a used one where somebody else had already figured out all the issues. So that would be our advice to you. Yeah. Maybe don't buy brand new. Good morning. It is a good morning. I wouldn't say it's a great morning. More on that later. But it's a good morning. We woke up, we slept good, we got some coffee. We're about to trek up to um, where the office is here because our phones have no internet at all, no Wi Fi, no nothing. And we think we might be able to connect up there. So we're going to go up there and see. And then also tell you about the little dilemma that we have right now. Don't. Yeah, just leave it. You can leave it open. Let's go. I don't know if you can hear me with the coffee machine on, but do you guys remember a few videos ago where I forgot? creamer and Bob had to make me a what was it it was like a caramel hot chocolate no hot chocolate maple syrup coffee yeah I have my little like you know bag of tricks now that I am not gonna forget all right I am so annoyed Ugh. refrigerator kind of works the lights on inside so i have power the freezer shelf is kind of cold like but like but it's but not like off. ice cube like an ice chest is colder than our refrigerator right now 
And so I don't know what's going on with the condenser. I don't hear it kicking on. Like normally what we used to hear all the time is we'd hear it turn on and kind of turn off, turn on and turn off. But I don't hear any of that. And so I turned it to its coldest setting. I tried turning it off to, and letting it sit and then turning it to the coldest setting. Nothing. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. It's barely working. So I don't know what to do. Like, do we need Freon? I, without like literally destroying the van and taking everything out and, un, and like unplugging it. And I, I can't really tell. I crawled underneath and checked the fuse. Super difficult to show you guys, but it's basically right underneath our bed. There's a little fuse block. I pulled it up, checked fuse. It's good. Put it back in. It kind of arced when you plug it in. So I know that it's getting power. And I didn't bring my voltmeter to check how much power, but everything seems to be working fine <laughs> from a power perspective. I just don't know why it's not cooling. I feel like this is like one of our worst fears, right? You're out and about, you have everything, you're, you know, you have everything in your fridge. It's supposed to be cold <laughs> and then it doesn't work. Then what do you do? Thankfully, we have our friends who have a working fridge. <laughs> so we just gave them our hamburger meat and cheese that's for tacos tonight and other than that we're kind of up a creep without a paddle right now with our fridge so we're gonna just forget about the fridge problem we put everything in their in their camper right now and we're gonna cook breakfast and by we who do i mean candace really mostly bob i feel like but... yeah and bob <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm just a, a sous chef. Is that what you would call me? A sous chef? I would, I would call you a... Hardly? I'm not even a sous chef. Am I just nothing? I would call you am, a... Am I just a camera person? <laughs> You're the hype man. You're I'm the, the hype producer, man. Executive producer. I'm the executive producer. That's true. I'm Robin. Bob's Batman and I'm Robin. <laughs> Robin, Batman was angry. That's true. That's true. I guess that kind of fits. Yeah. We're starting off with croissants. OJ. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> dink it and sink it. What are supposed to do? Dink it and sink it. Oh, I was like. <laughs> Not dip it. <laughs> Not dip it. I was like, ew. It's dink and sink. Is that a thing? Well, it's actually from the, the YouTube channel Good Mythical More. Oh. That's what they do all the time. Well, Shout out if you watch that show. What are you looking at? It's a Gila woodpecker. I'm playing on my phone and he draws him in. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. Oh. yeah see, they're. Oh, you're drawing the woodpecker in? Well, I saw it up on the birdhouse over here. So I'm playing the sound because we get them in our backyard all the time. So if you. I could tell by their sound that that's what it was. So if you play the sound, it draws them in. Yeah, they kind of come and try to attack you. <laughs> Ted's our nature guy. Yeah. You wanna go that You wanna know what a butterfly is? Ask Ted. You wanna know what a bird is? Ask Ted. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> I There's asked Google. There's a bird sanctuary down there. I'm a conduit. Yeah. We saw it yesterday. Just what we do for watch. fun is sit here and Ted calls all the birds to us. <laughs> we don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to go look for them. That no, feels like no. a lot. And up there, if you could see behind Candace's head, <laughs> is all the birds. <laughs> oh my goodness, it smells so good. I mean, how good does that look? <laughs> Fallen. Made it! It pays to have long legs. Candace, you're up. <laughs> My legs are not long enough. All in the river. All right, let's check our refrigerator and see if it's actually cooling still. Because what'd you do? So when I pulled the fuse earlier and put it back in, it seemed to have reset something and it was getting cold. So now, oh, it does feel cold. It's actually cold in there. Oh my word. So 
it's still going to take a while to get everything to actually cool down but at least the freezer portion is like iced cold now it's not just kind of like cool oh so, my gosh one problem one problem solved <laughs> now we only have like five more way more drama than it needs to be yeah the van kasky drama <laughs> what stay broke tuned. now <laughs> yeah stay tuned what broke now it's all people problems but it's time to get this van nice and clean i'm probably using way too much water but we're gonna clean the van and then i think we're gonna hop into ted and candace's uh car and head into town and see what kind of fun we can find and then head up another winery before we go get into more trouble let's go slow folks <laughs> are we ready we're ready okay two more dishes to wash let's then we're good go. thank you i like the washing stance do you like my stance because <laughs> like look if i'm washing right i can't even you can see almost, him your head almost touches the yeah and i can't see it's like hello i got some really exciting news <gasps> what's your exciting I'm walking back from the bathroom and i saw our state butterfly oh the two-tailed swallowtail oh that's huge yellow black butterfly Aww. and then it pretty much followed me or i followed it back and it was right over here a little bit ago it was pretty pretty spiritual moment oh was it that's why we call him the butterfly whisperer i know Not really. Ted, our our nature whisperer but this butterfly is like the size of a bird it's like beautiful and it just flutters right. around and... we're done let's go we're done let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, we are camping here um, in Page Springs, yep. right? And right here's Sedona, right on Oak Creek. We're right on Oak Creek. But right now we're over here in Cottonwood and we are in historic Main Street right here. Oh, yeah. And we're right down here and here's the Verde River. So the water that we see there is the Verde River, but they, they meet and then they go through Camp Verde, which is off 17 when we're coming up. Came back to the what do we call these RVs? Campsite. Came back to the campsite for a quick lunch since we seem to be spending a lot of money everywhere we go, and we're about to head to another winery. So we thought we'll be smart and come here. We uh, Bob said I'll just make a simple sandwich. Bob, what? You don't do anything simple. No, nope, we do it to perfection. Wow. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Wow. <laughs> Here we go. We just hit our third winery. Third? Fourth? I don't know. We we went to this one last night. We just headed again. Had an amazing time. Didn't bring it out the camera at all. We'll let you see the next one we're about to head. Oh my gosh, the vibe. The vibe is good. The vibe is good. Here at the DA Winery, the Kappa, actually a very good wine. Probably the best one we've had so far, I think. Really? Oh yeah. Ted, what do you think? Best? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's the best we've had so far. It's a good wine. It's tasty. Uh -uh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Having 
What's the review? Ooh. 10 out of 10. Yes. Good morning, guys. It's day three here at this beautiful RV park, this gym of an RV park. We've never previously stayed here, and we're all so glad that we did. We got the perfect spots. You know, you saw right next to the creek, and it's just been a breath of fresh air. So nice. It's the best part of van life. But the worst parts you guys always get to see too and for this trip um started off with a bang you know no house battery or no state of charge holding state of charge battery which is a bummer because we had a few trips coming up that are all boondocking trips so we're trying to figure that out right now stay tuned for that we gotta call the mesa see if they can you know it's not if they can get us new batteries if that's really the problem but it's like how soon and yeah, so, you know, you have to take the good with the bad, the ups with the down with, you know, RV life and just let it roll off your back sometimes and just take these moments in that are quiet and you listen to the birds and nature and, you know, enjoy it. So I think that's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bob's in this bathroom behind me right now and yeah. We will see you next Wednesday. Bye, guys.